A subgroup of a group G is a subset H of G that is also a group, which means that H needs to be associative, it needs to have an identity, it needs to have inverses, and it needs to be closed. However, we don't have to prove all of those properties separately every single time that we want to prove something as a subgroup. There is a better way. Today, we'll prove the two-step subgroup test, which says there's only two things we need to prove to establish that H is a subgroup. We need to prove that it's closed with respect to the operation, and we need to prove that it's closed with respect to inverses. After the proof, we'll do a quick example of using the two-step subgroup test to prove that a subset is a subgroup. Also, links in the description to my lesson introducing subgroups and going over the other subgroup tests. What we're really doing here is proving an equivalent definition. We're saying that H being a subgroup of G is the same as this. Now, if H is a subgroup of G, then obviously these properties are true because H is a group. So certainly it's closed with respect to the operation and it's closed with respect to inverses. So we just have to prove the other direction that if H is closed with respect to products and inverses, then it is a subgroup. So let's get into it. We're assuming that H is a non-empty subset of our group G. So right off the bat, that guarantees that we have associativity. The operation in H is the same as that in G. G is a group, so it's associative. All right, now we need to prove that H has an identity, and indeed it does, because it's non-empty. So we can take an element, say X, from our subset H, and we're assuming that H is closed with respect to inverses. That means that X inverse is in H. But we're also assuming that H is closed with respect to products. If we have two elements of H, their product is also in H. So since X and X inverse is in H, X, X inverse, which is the identity, must be an element of H. So indeed, H does have an identity. And then we're done. The only other two properties we need to establish that H is a group, and thus a subgroup of G, is that it contains inverses and that it is closed with respect to the operation. However, those are the two properties that are given by this test. And that proves that the two-step subgroup test is a valid way to determine if something is a subgroup. If we can prove that it's closed with respect to the operation and inverses, the rest is implied, and indeed it will have to be a subgroup. For our example, consider the additive group of real numbers and the subset H consisting of the logarithms of all positive rationals. Certainly H is non-empty because there are positive rationals and their logarithms are defined. They're also real numbers. Thus, we can apply the two-step subgroup test to show that H is a subgroup of G. We just need to show that H is closed with respect to products and inverses. Beginning with closure under the operation, remember in this case the operation is addition. We take two arbitrary elements, log A and log B, from our subset H, remember that A and B must be positive rationals, and then we'll add them together, and we need to show that sum is also an H. Log A plus log B, by our log rules, is actually log of A times B. But we know the rationals are closed under multiplication. A times B is certainly a rational number. I'll leave a link in the description to my lesson proving that if you're not sure. And of course, since A and B are both positive, AB is positive also. It's a positive rational, so log AB is an element of H. So H is closed under the operation. As for inverses, since the operation is addition, the inverse of any element log A is negative log A. But by our log rules, negative log A is log of 1 over A, which is definitely in H, because the reciprocal of a positive rational is a positive rational. Since H is closed under the operation and is closed with respect to inverses, by the two-step subgroup test, H is a subgroup of G. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and check out my Abstract Algebra course and Abstract Algebra Exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Uh,
existence Couldn't even cover myself up from instant Lose the law and it's regular I regulate my integrity I'm a secular anesthetic for my own energy I didn't try just to be regular 